Welcome to the Last Mile Profits videocast, the last word on the last mile. Convenience stores in the US are embracing the opportunities arising from e-commerce. Find out more after this short message from our sponsor. Modern Expo provides an integral ecosystem of screen-operated lockers, screenless autonomous solutions, refrigerated lockers, and even personal parcel lockers, powered by an in-house developed software. Well, hello, Marek. Um, I hear you're going to uh, steer us along the path of retail today. We're going to be talking about uh, convenience stores. Now, what have you found out on your travels? Well, actually, as, as, as you know, Peter, I've been in Dusseldorf for Euroshop, which is, I think, one of the biggest events in the world for the retail industry, with our sponsor, Modern Expo, talking about how the last mile is uh, a real priority or should be a priority for modern retail. And what was interesting in preparing for that exercise, I read some research, and this is relating to the US market, but what was quite interesting, I had no idea, it related to convenience stores. Can you imagine one third of all convenience stores in the US already offer click and collect? On top of that, it gets even better. This is the one that really surprised me. According to this research, 90% offer home delivery. And that was a real shock for me. And I think it was 73% work with a carrier as probably some kind of PUDO or as, as our American friends call them, access point partners. So pretty, pretty interesting, I'd say. Yeah, so it seems that the US, these US convenience stores are uh, sort of grabbing the bull by the horns and, and embracing the opportunities that come with, uh, with online. Absolutely. And I, I think the, the reality is that there's huge opportunity. We talked earlier in a previous video cast about ecological issues, and it's so much better if a courier can deliver 20 or 30 parcels to one point and collect, collect uh, 40 or 50 parcels from the same point rather than having to do home delivery. To do that, you need lots of very close access points. And convenience stores are pretty good as part of a network doing just that. So, you know, I think it's really important. Do you think it's uh, cultural reasons, geographical reasons driving this, this growth here? E-commerce is growing generally, so you do need the volumes require some efficient way to serve. You know, another thing we talked about is the circular economy. Because of the low value of the goods, there's no way you can financially justify home delivery, which is expensive. So I think that's another issue. And, you know, my personal view is also there's going to be sooner or later political pressure to say, hold on a minute, this is just crazy. We're not going to have five or six vans going down the same route, delivering one to 1.3 parcels per stop, which we've seen various pieces of research and depending upon, you know, whether you're more in favour or less of out of home, but, but most people would suggest that it's up to two thirds less carbon in an urban area. So, you know, this is a big deal. It is a big deal. How does that compare to where we are in Europe? You and I are sitting here in Central Europe, you know, it's, uh, you'd think that uh, the cities that we have here would be a bit more compact, maybe a little bit more scaled up towards that. Well, this is really quite interesting, Peter. Uh, I call Poland locker land. Poland has an awful lot of lockers and pudos. By the way, Last Mile Experts uh, 2023 out of home report will be out within the next three or four months. So you'll see just how things have developed and grown. But actually, our part of the world is pretty good in terms of pudos and lockers. What's actually interesting is the UK. I was at a, a quadient or quadient, I think is the way they tell me I should pronounce it, webinar recently, and we were discussing this, uh, why is the UK so difficult in terms of out of, out of home? And I think one of the reasons is leave with neighbour is very, very much accepted in the UK. You and I know Poland, it, it wouldn't work so easily here. <laughs> I think that, that that makes the UK quite special. But, but what I would say is, Nordics are big and out of home. Central, Eastern Europe, certainly the, the new EU economies are growing pretty fast in this space. And I think if we observe carefully, we'll find the same happening in some of the more developed markets in Europe. Yes, yeah, so this is not a retail podcast, but it does definitely uh, have massive implications on the last mile. But uh, you'd think if, if more retailers could embrace this uh, opportunity, then um, we won't be hearing head reading headlines that you know the, the high street is dead. 
Absolutely. This is because this is one of the things that I wanted to, to, to really share with the attendees that it's not a lot of people think that offering click and collect is about making 30, 40, 50 pence or cents per parcel. But what is actually really important is the footfall. So what surprised me, a lot of the data I've seen, particularly with convenience stores where you get impulse purchases and so on, sometimes it's, it's as much as 85% of those customers that go to pick up a parcel will actually buy something. So if you look at it differently, you think that you potentially can have 20, 30, 40, 50 new customers per day, which is probably what, about 1,500 per month. And those customers, a lot of them, maybe 75, 85% will buy something. A lot of them are new customers. That becomes quite sexy. Absolutely, it does indeed, yes. Who would have thought that e-commerce would be the, uh, uh, the salvation of the high street? Well, that's actually pretty cool, Peter, you're right, because in a way you'd think that the, the, the two cannot work together. But I think this is, this is where things are changing and developing. And, you know, it's not just that. You take it a step further. Uh, imagine that I'm picking up my parcel and I'm not the 85% who'd buy something or I'm part of the 85% but I wouldn't buy item X. And I have a voucher. Only today, Marek, you're picking up your parcel. You can buy this item at your local convenience store that you're picking up from at 20% off. So, you know, it's, it's a real call to action. Yeah. So I think that's great. And then other issues, imagine if... As part of the click and collect philosophy, you've got a locker outside the store, which makes your store open 24-7 in terms of perhaps returns or items. Uh, not necessarily ideal for all convenience stores, but there are some things that, that, um, that, that would work. So, you know, I think it's a huge topic. There was interest, but I think it's still, we've not reached anything like the Rubicon in terms of, understanding and uh, and development in that space? Well, uh, I would say that um, it is a huge topic and we do not have the resource or the time to cover it right now. But what we would want is to hear what you, our viewer, says about or thinks about this topic. And uh, we'd love to have your comments posted below. So please do engage with us on this. Thank you for watching the Last Mile Profits video. For more free analysis of The Last Mile, please like, follow and subscribe below to ensure you are notified every time we upload new content.